Joining me right now, New York City Councilman Mark Levine. He's the chair of the Council's Health Committee. It's good to see you again, Councilman. Thanks for coming on. Um, this you, was Jay. not unexpected. He'd set the standard. We knew that. But this is, still is a major blow. Um, and a well-known ER doctor in New York City uh, put it this way. Should parents drop their kids off at the bar, indoor restaurants, or the gym, all of which are still open? How does this make sense? Kate, these priorities are totally backwards. Yes, New York City is in its second wave, and cases are rising fast. We have to act. But schools should not have been the first thing that we closed. We should pause indoor dining, close gyms and salons, tell New Yorkers to start working at home again. None of that has been done. So families, teachers have gone through an incredibly traumatic 24 hours, and we haven't taken the critical public health measures that we need. And what it all boils down to is, today in New York City, a kid cannot learn in their classroom, but they can have a meal at indoor dining. It just, it just doesn't make sense. The science doesn't tell us that that makes sense. And even short of the comparison of what else is still open in the city, Dr. Richard Besser, he's a former head, acting head of the CDC, he, was, he spoke out this morning and he, he says that he thinks this decision was just the wrong way to go as it was, as it was, um, as it was laid out. Let me play for you his thinking. I think the, the city tied their hands when they, when they were linked to that 3% community positivity rate because they, they hit that. Um, but they hit that and at the same time, they've been able to maintain a safe environment in, in the schools. Uh, I was talking to a, a state health commissioner in another state and she was making the point that for a lot of children, uh, being in the classroom where their mask wearing can be observed, where social distancing can be monitored is really the safest place for them. So should the city be reconsidering this decision right now? I think we should be prioritizing reopening for elementary school students and students with special needs because we know that there's a pedagogical cost and a social emotional cost to online learning. And in fact, there are 60,000 kids in New York City that don't even have a connected device. So I'm not sure how this is going to work with them. I guess they'll have paper handouts. We've got to figure this out and we can improve safety protocols even further in our public schools better testing for sure um, to make sure that kids, teachers, and staff are safe. Let's move quickly on this while flattening the curve, which we must do. We've all got to work harder on that. Um, and let's get our priorities right and move on the businesses where there's real risk. Um, that's the action we need immediately. I mean, have you talked to the mayor? Like, what's he not getting about this? Because what you're saying is science driven. I, I'm not sure. I think there's a concern about the economic impact on small businesses to close, but the solution would be direct financial assistance. We need the Senate to pass stimulus now in the lame duck, which has direct aid to restaurants and gyms and other businesses. They've done this in Europe. We should do it here. But in the meantime, we do have a public health imperative. We have to act. We have to slow this second wave, and that means not focusing on schools, but focusing on the businesses where there are indoor social interactions, that's where the risk is greatest. Look, I mean, how, how bad is this gonna get? New Yorkers did uh, an amazing job coming together in the springtime to get past that, that surge, but how bad is this gonna get? I mean, are you thinking we need, the, are you thinking the city is gonna need to shut down the way it did, uh, you know, turning off those valves like the governor talked about in the spring? Look, cases have doubled in the last two weeks, Kate, so this is moving very fast. Our choice is either to act in targeted ways now or much more broad shutdowns later. No one wants it to come to that. But I am confident that New York can get beyond this. We did it once in the spring. We rallied. We're going to have to rally again. It's going to be tough missing Thanksgiving, but we have no other choice or we're going to be confronted with very, very difficult decisions on broad shutdowns in the near future. And I got to be honest, so many families are already having to taste, face tough decisions today because schools were shut down so quickly at, while other things are still open. And they now have to figure out child care. And also, so many kids don't even have laptops. There's a lot of reporting that there isn't even, as you said, access to the Internet for a lot of these public school students, which is the lifeline when it comes to remote learning. Um, Councilman, thank you for coming on. Thank you, Kate. Appreciate it.